Hello, RUSD parents and families. Nadine Mugridge with the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement, and I would like to take some time today to show you how to create a Gmail account. To begin to set up our Gmail account, we need to visit accounts.google.com forward slash sign up. When you type in accounts.google.com forward slash sign up, you'll be taken to this webpage right here. You'll begin by entering your first name. Then you'll enter your last name. Then you can enter the username of your choice. What I recommend doing to keep it simple is to go ahead and try using your first name and your last name. It'll be really helpful if you have a unique name as that might not be taken already. However, if it is taken, it'll generate some potential offers for you to use as well. Okay, so right now I have my first name listed as parent, my last name listed as example, and my username will be parentexample at gmail.com. The next thing you're going to want to do is enter a password. Your password needs to be eight or more characters, and it has to have letters and numbers, meaning it must be alphanumeric. Try to pick something that is safe and secure, Avoid using information that other people have, or something that would be easy for someone to guess. You'll type it in two times just to make sure you typed it in correctly. And if all goes well and nobody's using this current email address, then this one will be mine. Aw, oh, bummer. Someone's already using that. But that's okay, because it's going to give me some choices that I can use instead. If this happens to you, it's totally okay. Just follow the examples that are available. So right here it'll say, these are the items that are available. Let me go ahead and use what they've given me. So over here I have parent example 502 is available. So I will use parent example 502 at gmail.com. After deciding on the username, parent example 502, taken from the suggestion that was given to me here, I'm going to need to go ahead and create a password. I'm going to notice that the password that I originally created wasn't what they call strong enough. So I need to pick something that might be harder for other people to guess. I'm going to try including a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols to come up with a password strong enough to meet the security requirements. So first name is entered, last name is entered, my username has been chosen, and now I need to go ahead and come up with a password. Next. Ta da! So now we're welcome into Google and we're able to use the email address we created, which was parentexample502 at gmail.com. You now have the option of choosing to enter your phone number or not. That's 100% optional and your choice. You also have the option of including a recovery email address. And then you'll need to add your birthday and your gender.
The next thing you're going to see is the privacy policy and the terms. Your computer may or may not pop up with the automatic save for your password. The choice is yours whether or not you want it to save. I'm going to choose not to. And then coming down this way, it'll give you all the privacy policy and terms in regards to using your account. You would go ahead and click I agree. And now you're all set up with your own Google account. So with your Google account, you'll have access to your Gmail. You'll have the option to choose the views that you would like to have. So whether or not you want to see that the attachments are in there, it's totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and use the default view for this example. Click OK. So now that we're here, a few basics that we need to know would be how to check to see we have emails in here. So this number right here indicates that I have an email. So I have one email. And I can go ahead and click on that. And this is my unread email right here. So this would be finishing up setting my account. If I wanted to compose an email, so if I wanted to send an email to my student's teacher or to the school, I would go ahead and hit compose right here. And then this box would pop up. I would type in the email address that I want to send to right here. Include a subject. Include the message. And then upon completing typing the message, I would go ahead and click the send button. And that's all. It's as simple as that. So you'll be able to check to see what emails you've received. You'll be able to compose emails as well. And now you are ready.